camera backpacks, ask yourself three questions. How does it look? How does it function? And how much does it cost? Let's unbox the VSGO 20 liter camera backpack, my new 2023 everyday carry. It's sexy as hell, has awesome functions and features, and is one of the most affordable bang for your buck backpacks on the market. Look out camera world, the VS GO 20 liter camera backpack is here to stay. Now I wanted a new backpack for the everyday carry. I have the 35 liter Peter McKinnon nomadic backpack, and it is fabulous by the way. It does everything I need and with ease. It's been all over, Western Canada, the US, the Caribbean. It combines camera and travel seamlessly and with great functionality. Now, the problem is, what if you wanted something just a little bit smaller for your everyday needs, mostly camera and then a little bit of personal stuff. This is no endorsement, this video is not sponsored. The product just kills it and you're gonna like it. The VS GO 20 liter everyday carry. Like anything, it's all subjective, it's what works for you. But I think if you stick around, you'll see that this one checks a lot of boxes. Let's start with the size, as that's what was the motivating factor behind me grabbing a smaller yet versatile everyday carry. I got the tape measure out. We're looking at 18 inches tall. We're looking at 12 inches wide. We're looking at approximately eight inches deep. Listing measurements are shown here. I'll put those for you. 453, 266 by 173, all in millimeters. Now the weight out of the box here, she's coming in at 1.75 kilograms or 3.8 pounds. You have full peace of mind here. No problem for domestic or international flights. This thing is a regulated carry-on for most airlines. Depending on how much you have packed in it, it might even slide under the seat as well as the overhead compartment. Now she's coming in at $214 US. What a steal! You can't get better bang for your buck with the build quality of the VS GO Everyday Carry. It's got great structure with awesome function. Some bags have rear entry, rear entry, or side entry, and some have top entry or access. This bag gives you all three with storage for all your daily needs. She's made of rugged yet smooth canvas with polyester linings inside and some great magnetic touches, starting with this one right here. It stays secure when you have this top lid access closed. When you turn it one quarter turn, it unlocks and allows for your access to your top entry. When you close it up, it automatically locks back in I gave it a little assistance there, but she usually just falls right into place. And it's not just magnetic in this point of contact. It should be known that once it's open, you can actually feel that there is magnetic ability on the other, other sides as well. That is actually drawing it together. She's fantastic. I love it. And it's a very nice design touch. It looks sweet and sexy. I just love it. Okay, so let's take you around the outside before we dive into the middle. For starters, I just want to show you the difference in comparison with the Peter McKinnon 35 liter. I just happen to have that here. So you can see there is a considerable difference. Even the 35 millimeter Peter McKinnon backpack has no problems when you're flying. It does fit the regulations with regards to a carry-on, has no problem going in overhead compartments, even on some of your smaller 737 flights. I've flown with Delta, United, American, Air Canada, WestJet, you name it, it works. Obviously, she's a considerable size smaller, but still gets everything you need for your everyday carry requirements. Now, before we dive into the top side and rear access, we'll look at what pockets we have available to us right off the get-go. We will have a center pocket off the front, which also has a magnetic snap to keep it secure in case you wanna put paperwork or whatever it might be that goes in there, uh, a snack of some sort. 
We have a left side and right side exterior uh, pouch that allows for you to put in whatever it might be. Uh, for me, I'm going to store on the opposite side of my side entry, I'm gonna st store my RS3 mini gimbal, uh, which fits no problem. And there's also secure straps on either side of the backpack. And the good thing about them is that they're very easy to, to operate as well as having that locking mechanism on them so that when you tighten, they're not gonna loosen by force or movement. You have an exterior pocket for that right side. And then if you pull the zipper down, you have two pockets on the inside, in which case I have the raincoat. Oops, so I'll just slide back in there, no problem. And then there's also another little pocket on that inside sleeve where you can put uh, a battery, uh, SD cards, filters, whatever it might be that uh, suits your need. Now, when this originally came delivered, this VS Go uh, signed little um, spanner or screwdriver tool that you can use to take off or put things on uh, when it comes to your, your brackets or plates or things like that, it comes attached on the uh, left side. However, I thought because when you have it over your shoulder and you want to sling, you want to be able to easily grab onto the dongle when you want to open the side access. So I've moved that over to my right side so that when I swing it over from my shoulder, I can grab onto this with ease because it's large, it's very sturdy and secure, and it allows me to open my side ac access no problem, as opposed to trying to grab, because I've got large hands, grab onto the small little dongle, I can grab on to that piece, and it allows me to use little dexterity with regards to opening that side pouch. Which brings me to the pocket for the side access pouch, um, which can be, it's a, it has some elasticity to it as well and snaps back. So that would be okay as well if you wanted to also use that to temporarily carry uh, your gimbal or if you wanted to try to slide a, a tripod or a mini tripod in there, that would also work as well. And then if we go to the back, we have nice straps and great support with foam reinforced on the back and no problem on the uh, shoulder straps for installing your Peak Design Capture 3 uh, quick release for your camera. It also has the rear luggage sleeve, so you can slide this over your suitcase and carry it through the airport or while you're walking with your luggage, no problem. As well as a very sturdy top handle that allows you to carry it in one hand. So let's cover your accesses. First side access that I just finished speaking about. No problem. Enough room for the FX30, which is what I'm shooting on right now. Slides in, everything's fine. Zip it back up. I'm not sure if you'll notice, but these are waterproof zippers. They seal after they close. Fantastic. So it's to each his own, whichever uh, you feel is best for you. If you want to keep this little spanner or screwdriver type, uh, multi-tool type thing um, on the left side or the right side, it's up to you. Top access with your magnetic release. Quarter turn, she opens, no problem. Closes back up, latches in. Magnetized across this bottom lip portion of the closure. Once you get it up, little V attitude, on the top. Right now I have the DJI Mini drone inside with some other uh, supplies, gimbal supplies, a couple of filters and some stuff. So you do have a larger compartment in this top portion here, which if you needed to and you weren't going to use the drone and maybe you wanted a, a change of clothes or whatever it might be for a, a layover of some sort, that's also an option for you as well. There's uh, zipper pouches as well as battery sleeves within the zipper pouches as well, so that you can have everything in its specific position. So as far as it comes, when it comes to memory, you know where to go right away for different items. Everything built to suit your needs. And then you have two top zippers here with the waterproof seal that goes all the way around the back and opens up. And once you have that opened up, you'll see an interior sleeve uh, that says Light Chaser 20 liters everyday backpack. It'll have two inner sleeves with a magnetic release, which is a nice touch. And that will allow you to put in an 11 inch iPad and up to a 15 inch 
laptop in those sleeves and keep them in there securely. There's also an inner zipper compartment to close and protect uh, your camera equipment in the lower compartment of the bag. Right now I have my Tamron 28 to 75 lens as well as my 70 millimeter macro and some of my drone equipment as well. There's also an inner sleeve in here as well that also has magnetic latching as well. I mean, they thought of everything to keep everything in place so that it's not rattling around or sliding around in the bag. The whole kit is made with durable Japanese YKK uh, zipper technology and environmentally safe waterproof materials. Now, the one thing I didn't realize was that it was actually called the iSnipe camera backpack. It actually has its name other than the everyday carry backpack. backpack. At $214 US out the door, I don't know if you're going to find a better bargain for the quality, durability, function, and beautiful style that you're getting with the VSGO 20 liter camera backpack. Now also of interest, the VSGO comes with the ability to stand on its own. So when you put it down on the ground, she can stand up upright, no problem. It has a reinforced bottom plate with beautiful rubber feet on it and it allows for great stability so that you can access that top access. Now the only thing I can say um, that is a little bit of an issue that you need to be careful of is that if you're going to put it down on the ground or on concrete or on sticks or wherever you're in the forest or it doesn't matter even on the beach somewhere it doesn't matter where you are but if you're going to do that um, you could impact the exterior and the schnazzy little magnetic release here because that would be then on the ground and exposed to the elements that could get scratched up and it could deteriorate so just be careful of that and the one thing about that thing is that it's not slippery because it has a like a rubber ring around it so it's really really easy to to, to grab onto and manipulate which is fantastic but i just i you have to words of caution there is that you have to be aware of that if you're going to put it down for your rear entry um I try to do it somewhere where it's soft like grass or something like that as opposed to where something that's hard and and, and could possibly impact and and break that down over time. Other than that, A1. The VS Go 20 liter camera backpack, otherwise known as, what is it again? The iSnipe camera backpack, dynamite. $214 US, you can't beat that for this full package. Go out and get yours today. Mine, picked up on Amazon, at my house within 48 hours. Amazon Prime, just like that, boom. I'm the Covert Crow, do your thing, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll get notified when the next video drops. I'm on Instagram, you can follow me there if you like. Right there, no problem. That's my time for today. I got a video to make. See you on the next one.